Am I crazy or have we failed to break out of this box? I think we're definitely in the box. And, and I, I really and truly believe we need to even come up with a whole new definition and construct for national security. You know, and, you know, I think that the issue, it doesn't matter, in my opinion, whether we have men or women or gender mainstreaming. I think it all comes down to the use of resources, the unsustainable use of resources in our society, which is threatening both our homeland security and our national security. And if we were to start talking about uh, how do we build a sustainable lifestyle, we might be able to hold off the collapse that I see happening. The collapse, we've had the, the, the financial system collapse, we're looking at environmental collapse in the state government and local governments too. We are faced with, ha with a, an increased need for more services, uh, lifeboat services, human services, social services, infrastructure. We need money to build our roads and our bridges. And, and what's happened is there's a lot of money going into Homeland Security under the guise of national security, uh, thinking that our biggest enemy is terrorists. And it's simply not. The Homeland Security will, will uh, spend an inordinate amount of money building a wall, which, you know, <laughs> to, to, to separate families, uh, to build um, a, a computer system for domestic surveillance, uh, to, to do bioterrorism laboratories. They're just spending billions of dollars for these things. In the meantime, our kids are having to go to larger class sizes. You know, we, you know, we, we don't have enough health care. We don't have mental health care. We don't have social services. We just need to redefine what it means to have a secure, uh, a secure lifestyle. And I, I do think that unless we do that, we're going to come into what I call a violation of the golden rule between generations. We are simply not using up the resources that we should be developing and, and, and passing on to future generations so they can meet their needs. If we continue the way we're going, they're not going to be able to meet their needs. Mm. So, Martha, if you were running for office, uh, federal office at this point, what kind of national security plan would you lay out? What would you have as your basic priorities? My basic priorities would be economic and they would go straight to the majority and that's women because when women are secure families are generally secure and we would have to look at I mean take the mess we're in right now economically there the Congress is talking about extending unemployment benefits that's great except that a lot of women don't qualify for that system to begin with because it was designed in the 1930s when there were stay-at-home moms uh, were the norm and men went out to work and they made the rules so that they have income uh, minimums to qualify and if you lose your job for any reason other than the employer's uh, capriciousness you don't qualify anyway that lets out a whole lot of women and you know we were talking about whether women are still stuck in a box I think we are and we're not I, it, pains me when the candidates start talking about something like, you know, let's talk about a form of security so many of us depend on, and that's social security. They never mention that women are the main recipients. They never talk about... Well, why does that matter? Why is it important? Why is it important? Because women have to know that the candidates are thinking about them and their own personal and economic security. And when you're invisible in the conversation, you don't know that. Thank you.